Hi Sagittarius, this is Mary Shima Chasuloka. Let's see, what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me? Ooh. Ace of Cups in the verse, along with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. It seems like there is something which slipped out of your hand. It could have been an opportunity of some kind. It could be a, it could have been a relationship, but it seems like you missed out. It slipped out of your hand. It did not work out. You know? Um, yeah, it just died out. That could be for somebody out there. Alright? Sagittarians out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? For the month of December 2022. Sagittarius. Your first card is the star card. Beautiful. Along with the Knight of Swords, it seems like you're chasing a dream. Okay? Star card is all about your wishes, your desires, your hopes, all that. Alright? Um, this is something which you're really, really, really wishing for. I just start uh, hearing the birds chirping outside. So it's it, it, it almost like, even when I'm looking at this card, uh, there is, there is, she's holding on to a thread. It, it's, it's like a kite. It, it seems like whatever you're wishing for, you let it out there into the universe. All right? And somehow I feel like you're being guided. Okay. Things are getting aligned for you. You're somehow hearing um, or being guided how to go about it, if that makes sense. All right? Like you've been guided to make it happen. I see you chasing this dream. Whatever, whatever you're wishing for, you're making it happen. All right, you're chasing after it with this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy. I can see this person running after the bike. You know, and this, this, this person is ready to go. That's how I feel. You're very charged up right now to make things happen. Okay, all right. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy or probably a Taurus or a Gemini energy. Sagittarius, what is your next card, please? Ooh. We've got the Knight of Cups along with the Five Cups. And the position was this way. It was in upright, it was in reverse. So it seems like uh, previously there was disappointments. Like um, things stalled, you know? Mm. But now... There is something about you going after it, okay? It did not really work out in the past or you did not really pursue it in the past, but now you're chasing it. You want to make it happen, all right? Some of you might be dealing with um, an Aquarius or a Pisces energy or probably a Scorpion energy, yeah. The, yes, exactly. The Eight of Cups. It did not work out. Just like the Five Cups. Disappointments, regrets. You know, trying to respect to milk, all that. Okay? Uh, there could have been a, a person walking away or something of uh, that sort. Even with that Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Wands. I told you something did not work out in the past. Right? Now they're saying, you're going to pursue something even after it did not work out or something in the past did not work out now you are you know running after something new or the same thing whatsoever when you're moving away from something which is which is uh, which isn't working out you're letting it be and you're chasing after something new let's let's just move on Sagittarius what is your next card please This is not your next card, but they want me to look at this one. 
It was just an ace of swords. There is some kind of a clarity which is coming through. Okay? That is why you're all charged up because you know what to do. Like I said, uh, you know, you've been guided. All of, all of a sudden, you're like, let's do it. Let me just see where things will go. That kind of a uh, fired up energy. Yes, <laughs> Knight of Swords, same. Okay, that is why you're chasing after this dream of yours because you want to see where it goes. All right. Like, uh, I see you planning it, uh, planning it out. Okay, it's it's a much better plan now. Like you have strat, you know, a strategy in place. How do I make it happen? How do I make it a success? All that you planned it out now. Previously, you might not have. All right. Yes, judgment. It, 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 it's almost like uh, there is this energy about you where you feel very liberated. Okay? There is a sense of freeing yourself from anything which had been stopping you. You know, you, you're releasing the fear and you're going after it. That kind of energy. It, it's like no matter what may come, how things turn out, I and going after it okay all right Sagittarians can we have the next card please your next card is a page of cups this is an idea all right you're very optimistic about this 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 seems like your head is up in the clouds okay if you look at this card up close uh, the foot is in the clouds and uh, you know there is an idea of yours which which seems like it's it's it has a lot of potential okay there is a pig which is flying okay so it's all up in the clouds right now you don't know for sure but there is so much excitement in regards to the situation two of cups all right okay you you have a feeling this will work out this is something new this is budding okay it could be a relationship of some sort and uh you have faith in this okay you were optimistic about making this happen so much so much faith in this which is a good thing all right can we have the next card please I see so much uh, joy, okay, coming through. You're excited about this. There is a sense of exhilaration. There is something to you know, look forward to. Okay, Sagittarius, what is your next card, please? We got a strength card along with the King of Cups. You might seem a little detached right now, okay? It, it's almost like, um, yes, even with this card, a nine of pentacles, it seems like you're doing everything solo, okay, by yourself. It's, it's your baby. It's your project, okay? Uh, so, It's, it's almost like the inner beast. Something about a shifting. All right. Um, yeah. Something which you, which the world doesn't see, but there is a fierce energy, which is you know coming through. People will start to notice. You might seem a little detached right now, okay? You're doing things, uh, you have an agenda, and then you're going after it. You don't need anybody's help, all right? Mm, yeah, I, I, I see a strength, okay? Building up within you. Like I spoke about the exhilaration, like, you know, something is just, um, you know, building up within you. It, it, it's like 
you have something to look forward to and that makes you so excited about life. Okay? You might seem a little calm in the exterior, but inside, um, the beast is being unleashed. Okay? There is a fierceness about seeing it through. Yeah. Making it happen. Okay? It's almost like you manifesting this dream of yours to be a reality. Okay? Something about you is shifting. And people will start to notice that. And I get this feeling that you are being a little isolated. You know, you're isolating yourself. Yeah. The change within you is evident. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio, or probably a Leo or a Virgo. Sagittarius, what is your next card, please? What else? You've got the moon card. Along with the eyes of cups. We've got the moon card right under the star. Okay. There's something about I see two eights. Okay, the eight of cups and the strength card is a uh, card number eight. There is something about infinity. Even in this card, if you look at look up close, this girl has an infinity symbol around her, um, on her hand. And this is a card number uh, eight. Strength card is a card number eight. So there is something about things aligning for you. Okay? There is also something about if you were under some illusion, I didn't want to speak about it much. If you were under some kind of an illusion, yeah, it's, it's like, uh, how do I say this? You know, what is a mirage? You, know, you feel like there is something um, in reach, but it's, it's just a mirage. It's, 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 the closer you go, the farther it becomes. Now it's just, just an illusion. You were chasing after something which was an illusion. Okay? And I feel like with this Eight of Cups energy, you're walking away. You are walking away because you now Okay, I'll tell you what. This person is underwater and she sees the reflection and she feels the moon is up close, but not really. It's up in the spikes, right? But for her, it, it's like, you know, reachable. That's just a reflection. It's just like a mirage. You know, you feel like, you know, the closer you, you know, the more you walk, you are closer, but it's, it just gets further and further. Now, you're coming out of the water, okay? You can see uh, this person walking away onto the shore, okay? So literally she's coming out of the water. She's leaving behind something, okay? Because it's not worth it. So whatever illusion you were under, you are having or building the courage or the strength to realize it is not worth it. 
and you're walking away from it. To what something which has potential. Okay? Okay. That could be something from the past which did not work out. Is a cups, is a ones, is a cups in reverse. Now you're just letting it be and you're moving past it. Okay? Towards something. I'm just going to break the deck here. Yes, you're coming through as the emperor. Somebody, uh, this could be the person whom you're walking away from, or this could be you yourself. I'm speaking to the Sagittarians. Okay? And behind the emperor is the king of pentacles. I think this is you yourself. Okay? Somebody who is very financially stable, somebody who's at emperor level, who's a strategist, because this person is holding on to a uh, chess coin, which is which is a king. All right, this person is literally uh, the top of the hierarchy. Okay, people listen to this person. Okay, very uh, very stubborn, or there is a stubborn streak about this person because I'm looking at the uh, ram head, which is hanging on the wall. So it, it's like this person has achieved a lot. Hmm? This person moves, um, you know, makes the decisions. Okay, delegates, all that. All right. Even with the King of Pentacles, very, very secure, very stable, very financially stable and secure person, grounded. And even if you look at this King of Pentacles. You can see a fox sitting under this person's foot. All right, so it's it's like uh, this person is foxy. Okay, this person might come through as very um, kind. Okay, um, uh, could be experienced uh, like uh, with this white hair. Uh, but there is something about this person where this person is a strategist. Okay, foxy, wicked. Okay, you, you might think you will be able to play this person. Not really. This person knows or sees through you okay very laid-back person all right this is a kind of energy which is coming out from you all right so the, um, so there is something about you when I spoke about the shift okay something is shifting within you where um, uh, you are finally looking forward okay because there is some something which you want to achieve and you're going after it and that makes you um, uh, excited about life okay you're finally starting to enjoy life if I may say so some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy or probably a Taurus energy strong Aries energy all right Sagittarius what is your next card please Your next card is this one. You got the Six of Swords energy. I'm telling you, you are. This, this card speaks about packing your bags and leaving. All right? The illusion which I was picking up, you know, uh, whatever, um, you know, it, it, it seems like you were blinded by something. You know? You were under this haze. You didn't see things for what it is. But now, it, it's almost like, you know, you are peeling off the blinders. Hmm? It's, it's, it's like your true self is coming out. Earlier you were just a sheep. People just walked over you. And now the beast is being leashed. Unleashed. Yeah? Yes. Uh, so you are moving past that energy from the past, all right, where you were stuck or you were under this illusion. And now, it seems like you're on top of the world. Again, with the Wheel of Fortune, you are in charge. You are back mm, on track, all right? You decide how things should be because this person is wearing uh, two dices. 
can see the dice um, around the neck as a pendant. So it, it's like you hold the power to roll the dice. It's up to you how you want to um, go forward. It's entirely up to you. Okay? You're moving forward, definitely moving forward, because Wheel of Fortune is a card about moving forward. Six of Swords is again moving forward. Okay? And letting the past in the past. All right? Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Can we have the last card, please? Sagittarius out. Can we have the last card, please? Your last card is a Six of Pentacles. You've got two sixes along with a chariot. This is what I was speaking about. You are in charge. Again, chariot energy is a forward moving energy. Six of swords is a forward moving energy. Some of you might be moving as well, like literally moving. All right. But I, more likely, I feel like you are in charge of your life right now. Like finally, you're coming out of a phase where you felt stuck now. Uh, you're holding the reins to your life. Okay? Mm, a six of pentacles. It, it, it's like if something is coming your way. Okay? I, I, I see something is being given to you or you might be the one who's initiating something, something. Because knight of swords kept coming up. Alright? Somebody um, is all charged up to take things forward. All right. Along with a strength card. So it's like you are making things happen for you. Okay. Mm. There is this exchange of energies. There's something about that. You're taking charge of your life. You are initiating things. Uh, you're making things happen. Okay, whatever that dream of yours, whatever that star card is about, you are making that happen. You're, you're no more under the haze, under the illusion. Okay? You're coming out of the water. You're seeing things for what it is. And you're making it happen. I'm just going to break the deck here. I'm done with your reading, though. This one. Nine of Swords. Some of you might be having trouble sleeping. Okay? Um, this could be because of the stress. This could be because of uh, anxiety, depression, all that. A little too harsh, but. Um, Something really weighs you, weighs you down. It's a little overwhelming to just think about it. I'm just going to break the deck again. This one. Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay. You're somebody who's very kind. Okay, you have a lot to give. Okay, but the thing is, there is something attached to this giving. Because again, with the Six of Pentacles, you know, you're giving. Alright, the other, other person is receiving. There's something attached to. Uh, giving okay uh, there is an imbalance there is an imbalance um, you keep giving but the others do not reciprocate okay so somehow 
Your perspective is, I have to keep giving. To receive something in return. You need to free yourself from that thought process. You don't have to give anything to receive. Or, you know? There's something about that. Hmm? Because your strength is attached to giving. Okay, that's why they wanted me to speak about the Ace of Cups. Somehow, you weigh something with money. I think I should stop there. Or should I? Too. Sankha is the most beautiful card in tarot. Okay? And it's it's a beautiful card up here. There is a need for you to release. You know? Uh, just open your arms and receive. Ace of Cups. If I could show you that card again. Uh, uh, the person was holding a cup against their chest. So this person has a lot to give. Okay? But then, it is attached to the Nine of Swords energy. So much stress is attached to that. I have to keep giving. Okay? Well, the thing, what, what you're being advised is receive without any inhibitions. You know, without attaching any energy to it. Because the sun this person is holding their arms, you know, open. So it's, it's all about the sun is for everybody. The sun shines for everybody, not just for my house. No, it, it's for the whole world. We, we just have one sun. Yeah? So just open up your arms. What you, what? What is given to you, you will receive. You don't have to. The sun is not expecting anything much in return. It's not expecting anything, actually. Not anything much. So that, that is a kind of concept you should have. Okay? You don't have to give anything. You are not expected to give anything in return for what you're receiving. That could be for somebody out there. All right? Receive with the open heart. What, sh what comes to you is for you to receive. Okay? You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to exchange anything for it. That kind of energy. That's, that's uh, a weird one. But that could be for somebody out there. Exactly. <laughs> this is not even... They wanted me to show you the Ace of Cups. Okay? Uh, along with the Nine of Wands. Okay? It's, it's not even... It's somewhere in between. So they're trying to show me our uh, closer reading with these two cups. You give what you can, but you receive with an open heart. Just open arms, all right? Because I see you on the fence all the time when you give. Okay, because I'm telling you, you attach that energy about exchange all the time. But, you know, if people have to give you something, you have to give something in return. That kind of energy. Um, yeah. Always on the fence. Always on the fence. So uh, something about that needs to change. Okay? Receive with open arms. And that's about it. I wish you the very best, Sagittarians. Um, it is your birthday month. So, happy birthday. Alright? That's it for now. This is Marishina. Watch out. So, look at Bye-bye.